Hey, it's Adriana here from Adriana's Paper Crafts. I'm gonna make a really quick tutorial on a request that was sent in. Um, somebody wanted to know how to go into my Epson 8550 Ecotake printer uh, settings and fidget with the color settings. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. So right now I'm trying to print out this um, little Gracie's Corner chip bag that I have. And as you can see, it contains a lot of purple. Now I've noticed that with the purple on the Epson printer, because I had not changed any settings whatsoever, the purple can come out a little light, maybe more towards the pink side. So we are going to fidget with that a little bit. What you're gonna do is go ahead and act like you're gonna print. So I'm clicking file and print, but then I'm gonna go into my print settings. From there, this little dialog box opens up. It is the properties box. As you can see here, there are a lot of options. So what we are going to do is go over to more options at the top. And then here under color correction, I have it set to custom. If yours says automatic, go ahead and click on the custom button and then you are going to click image options. You wanna make sure if you wanna put edge smoothing or emphasize thin lines or if you're printing out photos and make sure to click on fix red eye. Then I'm gonna click on advanced and it's going to show you different color controls. If you don't see anything, if this is a screen that you have, then change it to where it says color controls. Again, if this is not what you see, yours might be set to look like this. I just changed mine from color circle to slide bar. That's why mine looked like this. However, if I click on color circle, I can change the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, the density, and I can click on which general color I want it to be saturated with. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do today. I want it to be more on the purple side, so I'm clicking there. Now I'm only going to print out one test chip bag just to see if it really did work. Um, as you can see up here, it tells you what the little preview looks like. And I, I can see, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I can see that there is a little bit more of a purple tint to it. And that is what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of verify that my brightness is where I want it. My saturation is where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Click OK again. And then I'm going to print out one test sheet. And voila, that is what the test print looks like. If you have any other questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. See you later.